your trunk. You're a man. To each his own. We finna head out. I just love potatoes. I'm sorry. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys new, make sure you guys subscribe because if you don't want to see more of me now, you don't want to see more of me later. If you think I'm lying, keep watching me. You'll see. I promise I'm addicted. Anyway, y'all. I promise y'all. Don't ever get the first floor. First of all, I need a film. And I need to book my appointment ASAP because, girl, this is crazy. And I was going to wear my glasses to cover them, but my glasses are in my car. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but this is what I deal with on a daily basis, y'all. But anyways, um, I'm getting a whole new look because y'all, first of all, my hair has been blown out for like a week and some change now. I haven't put any like heat on it, but I've just been keeping it like this. So I just haven't felt like washing it. I'm just being real. It's just a lot of work. And then if I do wash it, I'm going to have to, you know, like do the whole styling process, which I rarely do with my hair anyway, because a lot of times I just put product in it and I just let it dry out by itself. And I don't really be sectioning it like how I usually do because I'm just lazy when it comes to my hair. But that's just the honest truth. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm getting soft locks and I am so excited because I haven't had these in a minute, like literally almost a year since I had them. And that's one of like my favorite styles. I think she's gonna style them a different way. I'm just there for a good time. But she's gonna be doing her thing and she is so amazing. I went to her when I had like the six braids going back. I went to her for those. I just wanna feel myself again. Like, yeah, my hair was cute when I blew it out for like the first three days. But like after it was like this for a week, I'm like, okay, what's next? So I just don't like looking the same all the time. Like that's just me. And instead of dyeing my hair like I usually do, I'm just gonna do a protective style instead. So yeah, so that's for tomorrow. My appointment is at 10 a.m. I really wanted to get my roots done because as y'all can see, ooh, girl, they look a mess. But the only person I trust to do my roots is my mom for real. And I don't want to go to anybody else. And I was trying to like figure out who could do my roots like in a professional setting, like a salon. But when I think about it, a lot of people do not work with my hair and people who do, you have to do an appointment. So I was kind of last minute with the whole root thing. So I would have liked to have the hair with my roots freshly dyed, but it's okay, yeah. But I just need a lot going on. Like I need my lashes done ASAP. My brows also need to get done soon, y'all. But it's a rainy day outside today. Like I have to go out to do something and run an errand. But I have not even left the house yet because it is raining so bad all of a sudden. Like the weather is something else. It's just needs to make up its mind because I don't know what's going on anymore. And also I'm about to give me some nose rings to put in again because I haven't had them in for like a month. And that's a long time for somebody who has has two nose rings. I feel like when I have like a protective styling, I definitely like having nose rings in my nose for real because you can actually like see my face a lot more because my hair is out my face. So I definitely like having nose rings in my nose when I am getting my hair done. Like braids, locks, anything like that. Like I need my nose with my nose. So I'm definitely about to go to a big supply store now and get me some nose rings. I don't want any basic ones though. So that's the thing. Like, I don't want just any basic nose rings. So we gonna see. But yeah, those nose rings don't even last in my nose for a long time because they be turning and, and, mm -mm. and the nose rings that I've had paid a pretty penny for, they get lost quick anyway. So I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. So I'm also about to get me some coffee. And since it's a rainy day and I already have food that I made yesterday, it's just perfect. So now I can just sit down, chill, and eat my food tonight. And then I'm going to have to wash and blow dry my hair out for tomorrow. I might wake up in the morning and blow dry it before I leave so it could be extra fresh. Or I might just do it later tonight. I can always wait because I just have to wash it to get all the product out of my hair. When I be having these buns on my head, I feel so childish. Like, girl. <laughs> Let's go. Snow. Come on. Y'all, I need some coffee. Not for fake. For real. Do y'all see how ugly it is today? And I actually haven't like sat down to get a hairstyle in so long. So whatever I wear tomorrow, I want to be comfortable. Like I know you supposed to be cute, like straight from when you get up from the chair. But I'm trying to be comfortable. Can I have a small Coco Mocha ice signature latte with four pumps of liquid cane sugar? Y'all, my car's getting so wet. But I always keep the handy dandy white beets, okay? And these are lemon scented, y'all. This coffee had my favorite coffee for like the past four days. No, thank you. 
Yeah, they did not. I'm sorry. Yeah, let me show you this coffee. First of all, it's not supposed to be this dark. Second of all, there's no four pumps of liquid cane sugar in here. That's probably why it's so dark. Because they ain't put the liquid cane sugar. I get it extra sweet. There's always the same people who like make my coffee. And those people will never get it wrong. But I ain't never seen these people before. But you just never know what you're going to get when you get coffee sometimes. Like, I don't know how that is. Because girl, I told y'all about my little week at Dunkin'. Well, let me say two weeks. Let me not only say a week. Because I wasn't there for only a week. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It's still good. It's still good. And it's still very chocolatey. But it's just not sweet. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be, you know? Maybe that's what it was. Y'all, there's gonna be so much traffic because it's raining. My camera is probably trembling right now. The way I'm looking and I'm thinking, should I come through? Like you love. Oh, the coffee tastes so bitter, it's killing me. Colors ain't made for one waste. No time on you. I ain't never gonna be enough. Y'all, the one I just got was so freaking lame. They ain't have nothing. I just got this super butterfly and this gold set. Can y'all even see? Yeah, they're lame, but it's okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna go home. But I will see you guys tomorrow when I am about to go and get my hair done. Y'all, I'm so tired, and I'm about to head to my hair playing me. When I tell you, I watch Batman, and I was so excited to watch Batman because I actually like watching stuff like that, and I really thought that it was going to be good. But when I tell you, like, personally, in my opinion, they took a mad long to end the movie when it wasn't even that serious. Like, bro, they could have ended the movie so quick. Like, the plot was just so dragged out. Nothing just made me feel like, oh, this was worth it. Nothing. Not one thing. I literally came home at, like, 3 in the morning, and the movie started at 10.40. The math isn't math. So I literally was there for, like, two days because it changed a whole different day. So I'm so tired. And then I came home, I took a shower, and I blew my hair out at, like, 4 in the morning. So at 5 in the morning, I was done blowing my hair out. And I put it into, like, braids last night, and now we're here. My hair is way bigger and thicker than last time that I seen her. I got my hair done. I'm so tired, and I'm not even hungry because I ate last night, so my food from last night feel like it's still in my stomach so i'm not even hungry for it but i just want to go i'm gonna be there exactly at the time so yeah we finna head out and and i'm just like oh my god Ryan. i have not sat down for a hairstyle for like that long in a minute so i put a dress on so i can be comfortable in this jacket because it is ugly outside okay it's rainy it's not cute florida's just very annoying let's get this hair done y'all Beth because she always does a good job. Yeah, I promise you it is only three. Okay, it's only three You know, I really swear that I was gonna come out of here at like 5 5 30 and it's only three and she's been done We just been like taking pictures and making content, but she's been done y'all like oh my gosh I cannot believe I was in and out of there y'all for real and these are the 36 inch ones So I got them down to my behind. Yes, ma'am. And yeah, I know it probably looks like I'm hot and I am. I'm about to take the jacket off, but when I came this morning, it was raining. That's how quick Florida switch up. I'm not lying. Like, look how sunny it is outside. And earlier, it was raining, so I definitely need to take this freaking jacket off because I'm sweating. I'm not really, but I feel like I'm about to. Your girl is wearing all brown, too. It wasn't playing, y'all. I just wore brown because this dress is in my closet, and I always wear this dress because it's so comfortable, and I knew I was going to be sitting down, but it's hot outside right now. But yes, I'm going to go home, and I will catch up with you guys later.
all right yeah a little update currently i am about to go out and eat but i wanted to update y'all because i have my eyelash appointment tomorrow morning finally at 9 a.m like y'all know that's very early for an appointment so i really hope i get some sleep tonight and i hope like i don't feel any way tomorrow morning like i hope i don't have like a headache or migraine because y'all know i get migraines all the time but yeah i'm just so excited to get my lashes done because i'm wearing these baby lashes right now i know i was saying i was supposed to get a filling but obviously i ripped off all my lashes that i had left because i was like you know what i might as well just get a fresh full set anyway i'm not really a big fan of fillings but i feel like since i have my lashes for so long my extensions it just do not feel right to like not have them on or just to have strips on it just don't have the same effect even though I have lashes on, like strips, I literally put my glasses over it because I just feel like it's just so insane. So I'm gonna get the style I always get, which is volume. But yeah, my hair actually does not hurt as bad as usual because I'm able to like style it already. I've been taking showers with my hair already in buns. So my hair does not feel the really heaviness that it usually does or like the tension. It has not been giving me like really bad tension. So I'm able to like move it, flip it to the side, do a middle part, all of that. But right now I just have it. I don't even wanna say half or half down. I don't even know what the style is called, but yeah, I just can't wait to have my lashes done. I just cannot wait. And also, can we have a round of applause for me that I'm not wearing dark colors like brown or black? Can we have a round of applause? I was really trying so hard to not change it to this black shirt I have because for some reason, black just be making me feel more in my prime and browns are just comfortable to me because I just love the color. But yeah, so lash appointment is at nine. That's my update. I had to update y'all now because if I don't, I know for a fact I'm not going to probably be able to talk to y'all in the morning because the way i am i rush so bad even if i wake up earlier so i just know i'm not gonna have time to like actually film me telling y'all what the update is but yeah i will see you guys at my last appointment y'all as you can see your girl got her lashes done do y'all see how pretty they are they are so cute and my mood is 10 times better. Also, Snow seat is in the back because every time I go in the store or something like that, she'll end up just going in the back seat anyway. So I just put her seat in the back just because she's going to go there anyway. So I'd rather just have her just stay where she's going to sit. So I'll put her in the back seat now. But my lashes are done. I didn't feel me getting my lashes done because my appointment was earlier today. And earlier today, I was just not in the mood, y'all. Like, I left the house without my baby hair is done. I threw on this outfit, literally a dress in this cardigan because it's it is cold outside all of a sudden last vlog i went to the beach this vlog is cold like it does not make any sense i don't understand what's going on but it just don't add up i don't understand how it's cold all of a sudden but it is so i mean what can i do that's life i love my lashes so much i told my lash shake i never know what to tell y'all because y'all always ask me what length i get and what style i know i always ask for d curl so i know she does that but basically what i tell my lash shake is literally that i don't care about length i care about fullness so so I don't be like, oh, can I have 18s in this, this is here? Like, no, I don't do that. She does her own like creative thing with that going on. But as far as like the style and the length, I tell her that I want them like curled and I want them very full. And the reason I get them so full is because when I don't get them full, my lashes tend to shed a lot and it can look like a classic set in a week. Now, when I have my lashes this full and I get them like this, which is technically volume to my lash tag, my lashes can go a month and like by the last week of the month they'll start looking like wispy and then after that they'll start looking like classic so it still just looks good until i get them done this time i actually like i said i actually like ripped my lashes off only because i knew i had to get a fill but i only had a few lashes on my eyes by the end of the time that like i just kept saying it and procrastinated it and just didn't make my appointment so by the time it came around to actually make my appointment i was like you know what i'm gonna just take them off i'm that person where i literally can't get a fill more than one time like literally i get a fill one time and then after that I take my lashes off and then I get a full set. I can't keep putting lashes over my old lashes. It just don't make me feel fresh. I just like the new full set feeling. It's nothing like the full set feeling. So that's why I just took them off and I had a feeling that I was going to do that but I really tried not to. I really tried to get a feeling this time but I just knew I was going to do that so. Every time I do that though I never get unsatisfied like I'm always satisfied with my lashes and my eyebrows are done. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last time talking to y'all but my eyebrows are done too. They're not as light as I usually get them but they're done. 
because they need to get trimmed, girl. I look like I had worms on my brows and it wasn't giving. And I almost feel completely transformed, but not yet because my leg hair is starting to grow back. And the only razors I had left in my house were them cheap razors that just come like in a whole bunch in a pack. And nothing wrong with using those razors, nothing wrong, but my skin does not react well to them. And honestly, they don't even get their hair for real. So it's like waste of my time to even shave because it doesn't get the shade that I want. It doesn't get a complete smooth shade that I like anyway. So it's a waste using those razors. Like every time I use those razors on my legs, my legs aren't completely hairless. So I need to get some razors. I usually get my razors from Target, the Target razor brand, but any razors are fine. I know the ones that I used to use, what were they called? I forgot. But now I am my last hygiene video, my last last hygiene video i use those and those don't work for me no more and my skin actually irritated i think because i used them for so long the same kind i don't know what about those razors with my skin irritated but now i can't use them so i just use any razor brand that i'm kind of like unfamiliar with but just has a good nice blade and i always get like the three blade ones because I need that good shave. So I need some razors. I also want to get some coconut oil. Coconut oil I feel like always gets the best shave and I've been using the EOS shaving cream and it is really good. It does make your skin feel really soft I believe but I feel like if I mix that with some coconut oil I feel like my skin will be super super soft. Especially exfoliating before and after and then doing that combo I feel like my legs will be the smoothest ever. So I'm going to get some coconut oil for that too as well. And I might get coconut oil at Dollar Tree. I know Dollar Tree coconut oil for a dollar so i might just go get some right there and also i like going to dollar tree sometimes because like they have stuff that i don't even need at dollar tree but i just like getting stuff from dollar tree i always get my car fresheners from dollar tree don't be sleeping dollar tree okay but don't be sleep and remember how my last vlog i told y'all that i could not find my honey pot wash anywhere i googled it and they actually have it at cvs and walgreens so in my area it's actually not in stock in target or in walmart none of them like i checked in different like counties around me and none of them i'm gonna take my behind to cvs or walgreens whichever doesn't really matter because they're both right near me and i'm just gonna get it because i don't like having my hygiene products like not in stock i never go low so the fact that like i'm missing one of my products completely is just strange to me so i definitely need to re-up as far as body washes i'm always have body washes back to back i always have body washes in stock so i feel like i'm knocked off my pivot right now because i'm missing a product but the product was not in stock that's why i'm gonna go re-up real quick i haven't ate anything yet today um i'm not really hungry i'm still full from last night i'll probably get hungry later i'll probably just make like a tuna sandwich something like that because I have bread at the house and I can just get tuna, pick it up from somewhere. I need to start buying stuff like that in cans in bulk because I only usually buy like two or three at a time just because I don't like having a whole bunch of cans. But I realized that I'm just making myself have more store runs. Oh, also, I need to get some bleach. I need to clean. So let me just make a little list real quick, y'all, because you know what I mean? Yeah, so I only have four things on my list. So I'm not going to miss anything. But I just want to make sure that I don't because that's how I am. Like when I get into a store... I always end up in a section that I don't even need to be in. Alright guys, so I'm in the parking lot of Walmart. Um, I'm about to go in there and get the bleach and the razors. Because I'm going to get the coconut oil and stuff like that at Dollar Tree. But by the time y'all see this, my cooking video should be up. Well, it will be up for sure by the time y'all see this. Let me know how you guys like it. I really had so much fun filming it, editing it, and watching it. I actually watched that video myself over and over and over again while I was editing it. That's how you know it's really entertaining for me. And that's just speaking on me and my own personal opinion. Next time I might do it more vlog style like I said in my video. You guys can watch me actually get the groceries myself and then come back home and prepare everything and then we cook instead of me just going straight into it some people like going just straight into it and personally i kind of like it that way more too but yeah, yeah let me know what you guys want me to make for next time and actually i've been thinking about cutting out meat for real i used to be vegetarian i think my freshman and sophomore year in high school i was vegetarian for about a year and some change i didn't eat no meat at all nothing i used to eat a lot of substitute meat like i would eat like you know like the fake chicken nuggets or whatever um i would eat those a lot those were my favorite the buffalo ones was my favorite and i would eat a lot of potatoes and rice and stuff but i wasn't eating any meat and when i was doing that i'm not gonna lie i felt happier for some reason i felt very lighter not even in weight or like look i felt like i just felt very light because i'm not having all that meat in my system so i feel like that plays a part because if you guys do not know red meat takes a few days to actually digest so i've been thinking about cutting back meat
me for like a few months not a long time like i want to see if i could just do it for at least three months just not eating any meat but eating fish so like being a pescatarian so i don't want to like do it forever i just want to see how i feel just doing that like just to make a change sometimes it's just good to just cut out something and you don't have to cut it out forever but like for me personally it just makes me feel good just having this thing that i'm cutting out not for like a long time but i just want to cut something out just to have like a fresh start of something i feel like that would just make me feel good mentally and physically i think i want to start doing that i don't know when i'm going to start but as soon as possible so if you guys have any non-meat meals like i know i want to make some salmon lasagna rolls but if you guys have anything like that i am still going to eat fish when i do this so keep that in mind but yeah we probably gonna get back to eating meat like later on but right now i just want to try something so yeah i'm thinking about it if i do it i do it. if i don't do it i don't do it we'll see i'm just this just has been going in my mind i don't think i could ever go vegan though personally because i love potatoes i love all that stuff and i'm sorry some substitute stuff does not taste the same some of it just doesn't taste good like i don't care how much people could try to convince me it doesn't to me so yeah to each its own but yeah yeah we finna go inside i just need bleach from here and some razors no big deal i don't even matter what razors i get as long as they're three blades i'm going to be fine Alright y'all. <laughs> My bar stool is mad low. Anyway, so I just came back from the store. I forgot to vlog a Dollar Tree. I just my edges on this side always get messed up because i always keep my hair to this side my usual part is always on this side for some reason this side looks better this time i got them done so yeah so like i was saying um i really didn't get much because i really didn't need anything but I know y'all probably was like, girl, are those boy razors? Yes, they are. When I went to PR with my aunt, I actually didn't bring any razors for myself because I literally forgot. So I had to ask my aunt, can I borrow a razor to shave my legs? And she told me that she uses men razors because they give her a better, smoother shave or whatever. And when I was using them, I was like, oh my gosh, these razors really do make a difference. My leg hair didn't even grow as fast as they usually would. And I feel like it probably was because the shave was just so close and so smooth that it didn't really leave any hair behind. So I don't know exactly what razor she uses. I'm not really sure, but I seen these. These are the Equate, which is a Walmart brand. Four blade disposable roser. Yeah, rosers. Four blade disposable razors. And these were actually in the men's section. For me, I feel like the more blades, the better because it just gets a better shade for me. This is what they look like. And they come in three in a pack. And I think they're only like $5. So I got these razors. I know y'all probably were like, girl, why did you put that in your cart? These weren't anywhere near the girl section ones. But like in Target, Target has the Target brand that has a lot of blades. But I didn't see any in Walmart for some reason. I don't know. Get your pickies up before they crumble, Walmart. So yeah, and then I told you that I needed some coconut oil. This is only a dollar. Dollar Tree. You can get a bigger coconut oil wherever you would like, Walmart, anywhere. But I was just like, for a dollar, why not? And I got some cleaning products as well. And then randomly, I was like, oh my God, Dollar Tree sells brownie mix. If you know me, you know, like, I be craving sweet stuff now all the time. And like, I never was like that. I always would prefer like a bag of chips or like something salty when I'm craving a snack. But like now, I be craving sweet stuff, y'all. But when I was like, oh my God, they have brownie mix at Dollar Tree? I had to get it because, y'all, um, when I'm bored, I like making cookies. But I love brownies too. And I probably would not make like a big pan because probably a big pan they're not gonna get eaten i have to crave them like i could have these here for weeks but i won't actually make them until that one random night that i'm actually craving them so i got these so tonight what i'm basically gonna do is i'm just gonna clean it's currently sunday so i'm going to clean i'm not gonna deep deep clean i'm just gonna clean i have dishes to wash must be my fix up my closet because that closet is atrocious okay that whole glam room is just all over the place because i've been having to do my makeup and my makeup is all over the place so i have to organize that okay for sure because it's really irritating me just walking in there that's all i really have to do cleaning wise but as far as myself and my little self-care wise i'm definitely going to be shaving exfoliating that way when i go to sleep i can rub my hairless legs on my nice warm fresh 
freshly washed and dried comforter. That's the best feeling, you know? So I just wanna do that. Also, I just uploaded my cooking video. Go watch it if you haven't watched it already. And I just seen that I hit 208K. So if you guys are new here, welcome to the club. And if you're not new here and you've been rocking with me for this longest time, I wanna say thank you so much for supporting me. You guys are so supportive and sometimes it can be overwhelming. <laughs> if you know, you know. This is just crazy to me. Like, it's really crazy how when I started this, I didn't see a thing actually progressing in it. I didn't actually see this happening. So I cannot believe that I have almost 300,000 people who are rocking with me. And when I definitely hit 300K, I definitely want to celebrate because I feel like I didn't celebrate 200K. I definitely want to take the time to just celebrate it. Like, probably just go out to dinner or something like that just to celebrate it because I feel like I don't really celebrate a lot of milestones. I feel like the more milestones you reach, they kind of, to other people too who know you, I feel like it just kind of seems like, oh, it's no big deal. To me, it's a big deal. I've not seen me reaching 10K. To some, it might not be a big milestone, but to me, I feel like the most important thing for me to do is just keep gratitude in my head because that keeps me going. Just remembering and just me looking back from like then, from now, gratitude just runs in my mind. And I just feel like it's just so important to appreciate that. So I definitely want to go to like a little dinner. I don't know, probably just celebrate it in that way. Just do something, but we'll talk about it when we get there after I celebrate it, you know. But yeah, I just seen that. So thank y'all so much. But I'm about to clean and shave these legs. You better not raise your voice at me. You know I got a pimp with me. Yeah. Put up. Drake goes in with a foot bag. Rat tag got a little kickback. Hold on, hold on, let a good match. You ain't never ever get your bitch back. You ain't never ever get your bitch back. You ain't never ever get your bitch back. It's getting like a little red here. Ignore that. That's what my eye is because different lash glues make my eye affected, but like it doesn't hurt anything like that. So please don't, don't look at it. But I ended up getting carried away and like completely cleaning out my closet and my glam room. And that took a lot of time. And I was hot and I was wearing this hoodie, but I don't know. I don't know how I made it through, but I made it through. My hair was getting caught on to every hanger in that closet. I'm telling you, I was fighting for my life in there. Um, it's clean. Like I said, I didn't really deep clean, but I just did some Sunday cleaning, you know, just some tidying up around the house because I can't like really function if it's like kind of a mess like i really feel depressed when my house isn't clean and i don't even want to do anything or go anywhere so 
I had to make sure I get that out the way because I'm trying to have a good productive week and I'm trying to do some, you know, things. And I don't need to be feeling like I can't do anything because my house is a mess. So, yeah, did that and I'm going to hop in the shower. I have all my razors already in there and my coconut oil and stuff like that because I'm about to exfoliate and shave to the gods. Also, this was a shaving cream that I've been using for my legs and my armpits, so... But I'm about to get in the shower because y'all know it feels so good when you get in the shower after cleaning. And it smells like bleach and fabuloso on the floor and you light up your scent. That's the best feeling, okay? So I'm about to shave, shower, do all of that stuff. all right y'all so it is the next day and i decided that i am not going to eat meat for these next few months um so i have to go pick up groceries we did walmart pickup and it's going to be ready between 7 and 8 p.m right now it is currently 4 30 so i'm going to clean out my fridge i'm not cleaning out my fridge because um i'm getting groceries well kind of it kind of just motivated me to clean my fridge my fridge should have been cleaned out okay like there's stuff in there that's like probably slide already like, if it's just not to be needed i throw it away i'm not a hoarder for real i am like kind of the opposite of a hoarder i'd rather just throw it away than save it but that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm picking up groceries later instead of having to go inside i might have to go inside anyway because i think i'm running out of trash bags well i can get trash bags from anywhere i don't need to go to walmart so yeah that's what i'm doing so i'm just gonna take everything out throw everything out that i don't need and then bleach it down because bro also on my freezer i have meat that i don't need i probably just call somebody so they can pick it from themselves so i don't waste that meat or whatever but yeah i'll probably just leave my freezer alone until i have somebody come pick up the meat so they can use for themselves because i don't want it in my freezer i wasn't gonna use it anyway i like using this because it smells like lemon even the bleach i get is lemon scented i just like the kitchen to have like lemon scented cleaning products or lavender so this is just some lemon scented cleaner i think it has bleach in it because it definitely be smelling like bleach so i think it does have bleach for sure but first we gotta take this stuff out and throw so i don't need away but let's get to cleaning again that i had so if you know what you know my favorite dressing for salad is caesar dressing because of course but the problem is i always remember like going to mcdonald's before when mcdonald's used to have like really good chicken salads i don't even know if mcdonald's still has salads but when they used to have chicken salads i used to get caesar dressing right and the caesar dressing i think was newman's brand so when i seen this at the store i got the newman's brand because that's the one i always remember being like the best caesar dressing but when i put it on my salad it tasted so weird i couldn't figure out like why it just was throwing me off but i just didn't like it so i got the good old gray valley one and it tasted way better so maybe i'm just tripping but i thought that one was like the best dressing for caesar but it wasn't like i don't know it just had like a weird taste to it so maybe i don't know gray valley did not feel me so I be hanging around here, I'm famous. Gotta keep the trigger by my finger. Hit a sideways, but I'm famous. 
I get focused on millions and everything. I just took me a trip out of Africa. See how we came from the mud and the bottom. We burned it. I see how they counted this. I bet they never gonna do it again. I see why they niggas be hating. They know I'm going right in. I was trying to get this money and this life is sad. I pulled up before they got my dog on murder again. See the fuck I'm out there. I got a drug in your flash. I said it to my mama. Out on the street like the mama. Do. You rats are never be honorable. They know I'm a kid, I'm a word. It's currently 7:19, and my grocery pickup is between 7 and 8. My lips is dry. They just come and they bring it to you. They can put it in the trunk for you. Well, I don't know if they're supposed to or not. I don't really know if they're supposed to or if some people would just be doing that. But I know last time when I went, like, oh, do you want the stuff in the back seat or in the trunk? And I'll be like, no, I got it. Because I don't know. I just like to put stuff in myself because I know where it's at when I see it. And I don't know. I just, I don't want just anybody in my trunk. You know what I'm saying? Last time I picked up groceries, I literally seen a grown man who was probably like in his 40s or, you know, 30s. I don't know and it was a girl and you could tell she's young and he just was letting her put the groceries in his trunk and i get that like that's people's job but personally to me i feel like as a gentleman you shouldn't do that anyway but the fact that it was like a young girl and you probably have daughters yourself and you just letting this girl put your groceries in your trunk you're a man do y'all get what i'm saying that might sound wrong but personally i just feel like a lot of men want women to play roles but a lot of men don't even know how to just be a gentleman yeah. i also want to make it very clear i'm not saying women are not capable to do this stuff but the girl literally was in her early teens i'm not saying women cannot do the same things men can do i'm just saying y'all know i'm for the girls I and mean, i'm gonna speak for the girls every time i'm a really big advocate for people being independent anyway so keep it cute back to the video i don't know what i'm gonna make today i know the ultimatum the last episode and the finale comes out tonight i don't know what the ultimatum is it's kind of insane like honestly I put my glasses on so i can actually see the ultimatum is literally insane y'all because it's basically look at me giving netflix promo but it's basically couples and one person's giving the other ultimatum i like how i know i have to go and i'm still just talking about this because i just want to but one person wants their partner to be ready to get married and the other person might not be ready for whatever reason or they're just you know stalling some of them don't even like each other for real they have three weeks to live with somebody else who they clicked with and see if that person has potential and then they go back to three weeks with their partner and they make a decision about what they want to do and i just feel like what the actual is that i don't really have any opinion on stuff like that like the whole thing is just messy so yeah i might just make some oh i also got french fries to put in the air fryer so i might just make a quick meal fry some fish put some fries in the air fryer also yes i'm wearing this huge t-shirt outside y'all i'm not actually getting out the car and I've worn worse than this in public, so whatever. So if y'all ever see me in public and I look at the MS, let's just act like you don't see me. Because I'm going to just think about that interaction the rest of the day, you know? Let's go get these groceries. Y'all, I'm parked so crooked into this spot. Girl, I just took my seatbelt off, Tina. Relax. And my car is parked, Tina. I'm here. I just got a call. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. How the hell? Not Walmart declining my call. Yeah, it's 7.44 and the pickup ends at 8 o'clock. Oh, 7.45 and the pickup ends at 8 o'clock. So Walmart is not answering the phone. That's all I'm asking for. Just give me the groceries. Let me try to call one more time. Hi, I'm checking in. The name? Checking spot. Are you in? Two. Okay, Okay, thank you so much. No problem. They picked up, so they're finna come girl came to put the groceries in my trunk and i was gonna get out and help her obviously because uh, i just have common courtesy so i don't know she was so close to the trunk and i popped my trunk and i swear she didn't even flinch so she must really have some tough here the trunk almost hit her in her head i came out I was like, oh my god i'm so sorry i did not mean to pop my trunk like i did not know you were so close to the car like because you know the backup cam it shows you like a perspective i did not know she was that close and then i just see my trunk like fly up and i just seen it almost hit her head and i came out and she's already like putting mad groceries 
was just in the trunk. I'm like, girl, how was gonna help you? But oh my gosh, like it literally almost just hit her head, y'all. If it really would have hit her head, do you know how bad I would have felt? I would have felt so freaking bad. I already feel so bad. <sighs> you see, I don't even leave the house, and when I leave the house, something just always happens. See, this is why I'm going back home. Cause what? What the hell? Your girl is back home. These are the groceries I got. And it isn't like snacks and stuff like that. It's actually stuff that I need like necessities. I have bread. I have a pack of potatoes for baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, breakfast potatoes, french fries. I just love potatoes. I have two bottles of cranberry pineapple juice. The best. I have two things of strawberry. I love strawberry so much. Yeah. In the morning, I'll eat a bowl of yogurt my favorite granola and i just add some strawberries in the yogurt and that's like my go-to breakfast in the morning i have some shrimp two bags of shrimp and then i have some french fries i'm about to just put some fries in the air fryer and make some fried fish because it's just one of those days i want to watch my show and just relax you know i got some cheese i have some butter lettuce everything of canola oil so i'm about to put the groceries away real quick I wanna put my hair up on a ponytail, but it's a lot of work. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it up in a ponytail. I'm about to just make this fry fish and fries. This is not a tutorial, y'all. Come on now. We all know how to air fry some fries and put the fish to fry. Yeah, so first of all, while I'm seasoning my fish, I'm about to put this oil on the stove because I am a very impatient when I'm hungry and like I really hate having to wait for the oil to get hot. I hate that. So I'm gonna put it to get hot right now. I actually hate the smell of fried anything. Not the food itself, but I really hate having the house smell like fried anything. So I, I'm ever frying anything, I always have to like open the windows, the door, something like that because I cannot stand that smell. You know how like if you have somebody in your family who's always frying chicken, you know that if you go to their house and you leave their house, you're gonna smell like fried chicken. Does that make sense? And I'm also gonna put these fries in the air fryer real quick. Very simple, quickly. I had to clean my air fryer out. Make sure y'all clean your air fryer. Cause I be seeing some questionable teams. I be using it for like fries. If I'm making a chicken salad, I want to cut up some chicken, throw them in there. So real quick and easy. Air fryers are very useful for nights like this when you're lazy like me. And I like my fries crunchy. My oil is on. So I seasoned the fish first and I also seasoned the flour because Girl love seasoning. And even though this is fish, I'm still using olive oil. I use olive oil on everything. But yeah, so I'm just gonna season my fish. And if you're not sneezing, it ain't seasoned, okay? Garlic powder, onion powder, some pepper. And then I also use this Kinder's garlic and herb rub with butter and sea salt. This is really good. I've made some garlic parmesan tenders before and they were so good and I use this rub. I'm gonna season the other side. I cannot find my Old Bay or my Cajun seasoning, so I think I have to get some more because it's either all the way back in there and I can't reach it or I didn't have any and I had to throw it out. I'm gonna put my flour in here. Flour is seasoned. Now watch this grease try to pop me and be rude. Oh, I actually didn't get pop, y'all. That fish is frying quick. My fish is done, and so are my fries. I gotta just wash this bowl real quick. And I eat my fried fish with ketchup. I literally just made this mad quick. All right, y'all, so I am done, and like I said, I'm about to eat. Uh, I made the executive decision to make these brownies because I just got my squeeze tube and I really didn't want to watch my show until I was eating these brownies anyway because I know I'm going to finish the last episode in the reunion in one night because of course but I'm about to make these brownies they're just chewy fudge and they make the 8x8 pan but I only have like a flat pan I don't have like a really big D dish pan so yeah but I'm about to mix this and make some brownies yeah yeah Standing up, keep me on the rise. Lost control of myself, I'm compromised.
recognized You're incriminating, no disguise And you ain't never running low on supplies 50-50 all the way to split it Turn the racks up and spin it, babe Light a match, get lit it, babe Take jet set, watch the sunset, girl Yeah, yeah Pull the eyes back, get my head, make my toes curl Yeah, yeah Yeah, you got that yummy, yum That yummy, yum That yummy, yum He's reflecting on me Yeah, you got that yummy, yum Thank y'all for coming along with me. I feel good. I look good. My two favorite things. I hope you do too. Thank y'all for watching this video. I love you all so much. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.